So how does this affect us? Well, let's look at how people are approaching work for a start. Herb made reference to the millennials, Generation Y, Generation Z, and their approach to this world and to how we go to, about work is different. So our employees, our workforce has become different. If you got a job 40 years ago, you went to university, you worked very hard, you got a degree. And then you went to work for a government organization or a very big corporate, and you understood that your focus when you got a job was all about your pension. You did all the right things to make sure you didn't get fired, so that at the end of this very long and painful rainbow, you would get a pension. Today, people are approaching work differently. They say their focus is all about purpose. They are purpose-driven. They want to feel like they're doing something for this world. Whatever the job is, whatever the business is, are we making people's lives a bit better? Are we making a difference? Can I make a difference in this world? And we used to just need a good boss, a boss that would just look after us, train us, give us a day off from time to time. Today, that's not enough. We want great colleagues, people we can share that sense of purpose with. We're in this together. We're doing something. And who remembers this time? When the office hours used to be 9 to 5, wasn't that an amazing time? You got to work in the morning, you did your job, you interacted with your colleagues, and then you went home, and now you were a wife, or a dad, or a husband, and a mate. Your personal life and your professional life were very separate things. Today, we understand that the office hours are no longer 9 to 5, it's whenever. And this, I think, began to change the first time we brought cell phones to work. And someone said, here, here's a cell phone, do your job. And we were so excited. You know, the idea that you could make a phone call from anywhere, it was amazing to us. It blew our minds. I have friends who made their first phone call from the toilet. And they phoned their friend and they said, you'll never guess where I'm phoning you from. And now we were all very excited until the first time... At half past eight at night, when it was supposed to be your personal time, you got a call from a colleague, from a client, from your boss. And the first time it happened, you said, why are you calling me now? This is not work time. But now we don't think about it today. Today, we're taking calls all the time. On a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon, time, any time we're supposed to be off, we're still connected to our email, to WhatsApp. Business continues. So business can happen wherever. You can be doing a deal on Sunday morning over breakfast or on a hotel in Mauritius with someone right here in Dubai. And the same with the workplace. It used to be the office was the only place work could happen. More and more we can work, not just at the office, but wherever. My son, who became a developer for Android, he got his first job 18 months ago. He was so excited. And after six months, he said, I don't understand why I have to drive in traffic for an hour to get to the office to do a job that I can do anywhere in the world just so that my manager can watch me do it. He says, I can work, I can work right here. I can work from a coffee shop. I can work wherever. And they don't understand this obsession with, no, be at the office. I want to see you do it. I want to see you punch in and punch out. And again, your tenure, how long would you hold a job? It used to be your whole career. You start at the bottom, slowly work your way up to the corner office, and with a C in front of your title. Today, people are saying, whatever. I will work for you. I don't want to work for you for the rest of my life. I will work for you for as long as there is purpose, great colleagues. I can do my job whenever and wherever, and no longer. Recruiters used to get very upset with candidates who worked one job for six months, another job for 12 months, this job for 18 months. They'd say, this is not a good candidate. But recruiters understand today they can't discriminate on that basis because that is becoming the normal. And it's got nothing to do with the candidate's loyalty. It's got everything to do with your business and your business model. Is it a 21st century business that understands change, is responsive to change, is adopting these new models for business that will drive on purpose with great colleagues and allow business to happen wherever and whenever? 